never think that you can't catch up in a novena. It's totally okay to go back and do day one and day two and then do today, day three, along the course of a novena. Don't let that be something that keeps you from doing it. Prayer is always welcome. I'm so excited that you're back to pray with us because our little community of prayers is growing every single day. Um, in fact, we have some intentions that we're going to include in today's um, prayers of the St. Therese Novena. So in the email that Pray More Novena sent out, they have a little reflection and I'd like to share it with you. About St. Therese, she suffered a great deal in her life. She also suffered chronic illness and depression. And through it all, she continued to look towards Jesus. She's a great example for us all, a reminder to cling to Jesus through whatever each of us may be going through right now. So today, one of their recommended intentions is for those who are suffering. And let's pray that we may look to Jesus, hold tightly to him during our trials, and let's ask him that he will guide us through whatever painful circumstances we are experiencing now because we're never alone. The Lord wants to be with us. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear St. Therese of Lisieux, you said that you would spend your time in heaven doing good on earth. Your trust in God was complete. Pray that he may increase my trust in his goodness and mercy as I ask for the following petitions. For our friend who is looking for employment, for those who are underemployed, those who have difficult circumstances in their employment as well. So we also have an intention that was sent over to me and for Jenna. And her intentions for this novena are her grandfather's health and fertility in their marriage. And here you share your intention. Pray for me that I, like you, may have great and innocent confidence in the loving promises of our God. Pray that I may live my life in union with God's plan for me and one day see the face of God whom you loved so deeply. St. Therese, you are faithful to God even unto the moment of your death. Pray for me that I may be faithful to our loving God. May my life bring peace and love to the world through faithful endurance in love for God our Savior. Loving God, you gave St. Therese the ability to see you in the ordinary routine of each day. Help me to be aware of your presence in the everyday events of my life. I see you, Lord. Help me to see you more. I trust you, Lord. Help me to trust you more. I love you, Lord. Help me to love you, Lord. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So hop over to Pray More Novenas, and um, just put in your email, and they will send you these prayers. And if you are receiving value or blessings from praying along with them, consider giving them a little donation because this is all given to us freely. Also, hop over to Premo.com and there's a little yellow tab when you get there and it says, I prayed. Go ahead and click that and then you can just add a little bit of prayer time that you're praying a novena, uh, a rosary, and they are gathering all these minutes up together and just offering them all to the Lord in this incredible time that we are alive right now. Also, I'm outside while it's still nice outside and this bush is going to turn all beautiful reds really soon. I just want to share it with you. This is my favorite bush out here in the backyard. Um, so I hope that you have an amazing day and come back because tomorrow we're going to do day four of the St. Therese Novena. God bless you guys.